So I walk into the MasterChef kitchen, there's red and white tablecloths on a lot of tables. There's Italian flags. There's a fountain. There's pizza ovens. Oh, <laughs> Holy crap. They've turned it into a pizza restaurant. Welcome to the MasterChef Pizzeria. Yeah. Lots of mozzarella, lots of parmesan. Got the chateau, we've got spicy sauces, we've got figs. Garlic, can you want garlic? I see a massive thing of wild mushrooms. And for me, wild mushrooms on a peach that's sauteed, fantastic. Hey, Rish. Yeah. Still a mixed mushroom pizza with thyme and garlic. Do you want to have some pumpkin on it? No. But we've got to put a bit of rocket on the prawn one. I, I, yeah. I like the prawn one, I like the bacon. So we've got prawn, meat, mushroom and boccancini. We've got our four. Um, we decide that Em and I need to take off and start on the dough. Uh, Jules is going to get on the mushroom. I don't know about the mushroom. I'm, I'm thinking a white pizza with potatoes and potato. rosemary and gorgonzola. Yes, let's do that. We're a little bit worried about the mushrooms being a bit slimy, so we scrapped that idea and decided to go with a potato pizza instead. We needed just a basic a mozzarella pizza, tomato yeah. mozzarella oh, with yeah. basil. I'm thinking that the discussion about the pizzas is going to be everyone trying to get their pizza on a plate, but actually it's really easy. Um, capsicum and onion on that, that's how my nonna's always done pizza. Oh, I think that's beautiful, caramelised onion, fig, yeah. gorgonzola. I just want to make sure everyone's heard, everyone's got good ideas. Oh, yeah? yeah. Alright, let's go. So we come up with a margarita, I get onto that, that's my thing. I've got totem on spicy Italian. I've got Kelty and Lucy on caramelised onion and fig with blue cheese. Given Samira that Middle Eastern pizza, she knows what needs to be done with that. So we're all just cracking on. Let's start. Salt and some olive oil, Pip. The others run back from the pantry and I see this, like, massive crate of potatoes and I'm like, whoa! What are the potatoes for? Potatoes are plain potato with rosemary. Where did the potato, potato one come from? Seed. Potato pizza is not a good move. Mate, it's, the mo it's beautiful with gorgonzola, garlic, rosemary. All I can think is prep. If you're doing a potato pizza, you've got to cook them, you're going to have to slice them. All right, it's right. mandolin, it it's mandolin right. thinly. But I've just got to let it go. Rishi's call. That's really hard for me to let that go. Yeah, not happy with that decision. I've delegated roles to everyone in the team. Pip's in charge of making the sauce for the pizza. That tomato base is going to be so flavoursome. Yep. And we've got Christina who's taking care of Italian sausage. They're going to already have a lot of flavour rather than using a mince and trying to pack flavour into that. Nolene and Neha are in charge of the Bianca with potatoes, rosemary and uh, gorgonzola. And me and Faiza are working on a chilli prawn pizza. The chilli will go down once you put it in the oven. What thing is this? Is this five kilos? Em looks like she's going all right on the dough. I've got to get this chilli oil and garlic oil on because it's going to take us at least two hours to infuse. When the pizzas get delivered, people have an option of having a drizzle of garlic or chilli oil on their pizza. See how all that goes. Then you've got the fig, the gorgonzola, a handful of rocket with some shaved parmesan. This is a MasterChef pizzeria and I really want to deliver a gourmet pizza. And I think the figs, gorgonzola and the caramelised onions are really going to do that. Lucy's helping me out in prep. I need to get a, a sack of onions on to make these caramelised onions. I've got my bench and it really is about owning your area of responsibility. It's behind. Magic Vern comes over and, and, and wants to steal some of my burners. Celts, can I grab that burner? No, not yet. I've been down this track before, Verno. No, they're mine. Just, I've got to reduce as well, mate. Maybe we can transfer them into one soon. When, we, when, when they're done. Yeah, because I need more burners soon. When buddy. they're done. Yeah. He's very protective of his caramelised onions. He's uh, very antsy about people coming into that space. The, the caramelised onions were like his baby at that stage. Yeah, no one else could play with the baby. Daniel and I are just getting our third dough. We're about to turn that out and we're going to get four doughs done. That's going to be around 160 pizzas. Without a dough, there's no pizza, so 
We've pretty much been thrown in centre stage again, Daniel and I. If there's one thing Linton and I have definitely learned, it's to be organised and prepped. So we get everything measured out that we need to before we actually start our, you know, actual mixing. Two and a half litres of water, 28 grams. Let's get the, let's get the rice flour. OK, that's all the sugar. I think the yeast will be in the pantry. We're trying to be real methodical tonight. We're getting all our quantities right, precise. That's a kilo. Mix vigorously until the mixture is full of bubbles. You have to get a good activation of your yeast, good distribution of all your ingredients throughout your dough. Yeah, it's starting to combine now. Form it, form it. Uh, and then straight into a big bowl. OK, dust your flour. And we want to put it in a heated place so it allows to prove even better. So we put it right next to the oven and cover it with a tea towel. Quick, quick. We've got to move, Daniel. We've got to move. I've got to um, separate them into 45 balls now, let them relax so we can roll them out to pizzas. So a bit on, but I think I've got it under control. What's up, Gary? It just feels very tight. It does feel tight, doesn't really it? Really tight, why, yeah. Why is that? Yeah. Well, there's a couple of things that pizza dough needs to do, and that's to go through its first proof. Yeah. Yeah, because it changes. Yeah. I'm just worried that um, it's going to be a bit dry. It kind of hits me like, oh no, I put myself up to be responsible for the dough in a pizza challenge. How'd your dough rise? Let's try and get a rise out of it. Oh. I need to make 180 pizza bases and it's my responsibility in a pizza challenge. I don't have time to make any more dough, so I've just got to push through. Two Italian sausage! Yes, Chef! Okay, so Lucy can take the pizzas out. Just There's just one fig on order? Um, wait, there's a wait. And Lucy's also going to call them out. Sounds like a good idea at the time. Two Fig and gorgonzola pizza, I'm very happy. I get them made through the oven. Call me when that fig comes, I want to see it. I'm in charge of brushing with olive oil and dropping the final scattering of leaves and cutting the pizza before it goes out. These pizzas don't look fantastic until they're dressed. I just want to show them the finished product. On top of that pizza goes some fresh rocket and some shaved parmesan. Now they look the business. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. I have got another caramelised fig pizza. Is that you? Enjoy! I've got two margaritas here. Yay! The fig pizza with the caramelised onion and the gorgonzola and the rocket. Beautiful ingredients. I had the um, Italian sausage and it was green tea and it was really nice. It was lovely. It was a little bit doughy, like it would be nice for the dough to rise a little bit more. But um, it was it was it was delicious. They did a really good job. Question is, who wants to run a pizza shop now? 45 minutes to go. New order, one Middle Eastern. Lucy, Middle Eastern done. Two margaritas, please. And then the dockets keep flooding in. Two caramelised onions and two Italian sausage. Master Chef Peter, this is Anthony speaking. The caramelised onion is fig. Hey, I've got our first takeaway, guys. This is for takeaway, mate. Done. That's, yes, Linton. Yes, go. Hey, guys, are you waiting for a fig pizza? Yay. On the upside, people are eating. I love it. I, I'm good. actually, I think that the pizzas that are going out are looking all right. And if you close your eyes, it smells wonderful <laughs> in here. It's noisy, it's, it's like a restaurant. Yeah. Apart from the fact that every time George has a challenge with pizza, he ends up with his head somewhere like this, and he's going, oh, no. no oh, I feel no. for them, this is such a tough challenge. First time running their own service, and what they need to realise, a kitchen is like a pyramid. There's a person at the top, and they've got to control it. If everyone's yelling and screaming, there's no direction. You know all it is? All it is is a bit of confusion. People are getting upset. They just need to start talking to each other and everything will be fine. Guys, I am still waiting on three sausage pizzas. They're up there. Please give me a chilli prawn and a Bianca now. Jules has become Gordon Ramsay. I need a chilli prawn and a margarita ten minutes ago. Let's go. The captain? The captain's getting yelled at. He's getting screeched at. Pizza's in! Go, go! Shut up. I don't care what you do. Keep smashing out every kind of pizza. Give us a break. Right now, I need a margarita and a chilli. Do you know how hard it is to yell at Nolene? She gives you this look. Sorry, Nolene. <laughs> and she sort of goes... Guys, I have no food! 
It's like, oh, God, scary. Is there a chilli prawn pizza here? I'm so sorry about the delay. No, that's OK. I hope you're enjoying them. There you go. It's slowly coming back together. I'm starting to cross numbers off. 10 and 19, go. Margarita with pesto. I look in, everyone is working as fast as they can, but they're just not coming up quick enough. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Don't waste time, take it. Well, I need one more of these oven because one is not enough. We've got so many pieces to go. Hey, guys! Can we use the oven? No! What are you talking about? Rishi shouted out if you can use our oven. I don't know if he's joking or what, but, I mean, we're pumping pizzas out here. They're just not working fast enough. Come on, guys, we can do this. Let's bring it home hard. We can do it. It's been fantastic as far as I'm concerned. What a great atmosphere. Everybody's chatting. The place is full. They're going crazy knocking out pizzas. Okay. One for the judges. OK, pop it there. Here comes the red team's pizzas. Beautiful. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Just start margarita. Right. Check, grab. Eat a bit. What nice oh, stringy cheese. Look at that cheese. Essentially, a good margarita is all about tomato, mozzarella cheese, and basil, and at least they put all those components in their simplicity on the pizza, which is great. This pizza I'm excited about. So, caramelised onion, Loaded. gorgonzola, big. Right. Bake. That's a cracking pizza. I'm using two cheeses, using a combination of cheeses, using some parmesan on the top, that blue salty gorgonzola underneath. Yeah. It's a really smart idea. You know, it's so important, the correct combination of ingredients on a pizza. That's what makes it, and that's what they've done with this pizza. Yeah, absolutely. Right, shall we taste uh, the Middle Eastern pizza? Is absolutely smashing. You know, good flavours of the lamb mints. You've got the pine nuts. There's a bit of chilli in there, which is wonderful. And of course, that yogurt's cooling, mint refreshing. Kind of ticks all the boxes for me. Shall we taste the uh, spicy Italian? Whereas we've had a couple of pizzas here, but which are very much kind of in that trendy modern pizza, you know, this is much more like a an yeah. Aussie pizzeria type pizza. Yeah. Really cheesy, really stretchy, kick a chilli from the salami. I think that's a crowd pleaser, that one. Beautiful. I love the fig. Fig's my favourite. I really like it. We had the um, red team's margarita. It was cooked to perfection. Absolutely amazing. Um, I had the the Middle Eastern meat, and the crust was beautiful. Mm. Uh, it wasn't too thick, wasn't too thin. Are you happy? Yeah, absolutely. Judges, judges, judges. Guys, judges are waiting. Let's go. I love the green tea's pizzas. I love the generosity of that fresh rocket across the top of that prawn and the potato. Great stuff. Oh, have we got any concerns with the pizza dough itself? The it base? looks a bit biscuity. That and we helps. know why. We know why the green team well behind on rolling the dough, letting it proof. And without letting the dough proof, really hard to roll out. So that's why that's really, really crisp. Shall we taste the margarita? Absolutely. Thanks. It's very focaccia-y. Yeah. You know, it feels like a focaccia in your mouth. Is that a pesto over the top? Yeah. I want to taste basil, I want to taste tomatoes. I taste sort of a mixture of herbs. Right, shall we taste the potato pizza? Yes. This looks good to me. Yeah. Looks really, really nice. All the ingredients, love it. The difference between the margarita and this gorgonzola pizza with potato on it is texture. I get texture on this pizza. Much, much better than the margarita. I love the cheesiness. They use lots of mozzarella. They use gorgonzola, so there's a nice balance of flavours there. I like it. Shall we taste the prawn pizza next? Yep. 
Ooh. Spicy George. For me, I was worried about this pizza because when you say prawn, how many prawns are you going to put on there? Yeah. They've been generous. Um, fantastic job. Best pizza so far on the yeah. green team. Now, last one. Spicy sausage. Oh, I'm looking forward to this Looks one. really good. Yeah. That has all that flavour of Italy you love. Capsicum, meaty sausage, a good squadge of cheese. Love it. It's actually one of my favourites. Bada bing, bada boom. And the uh, garlic corn pesto, and it was absolutely stunning. This is a real restaurant when you come back here? Yes. Yeah? Push, push, push! We're running the last lot of pizzas out and it is crazy. We've all put 110% into this. I'm just hoping that we don't go into elimination. This is it, guys. you got one minute to go. Come on. Yeah, just coming out, champ. We've all worked together well as a team. I hope it's come together and we, we've avoided elimination. Come on, guys, we're nearly there, come on. There you go. There you go. It's They're coming, guys. mate. They're coming. Just 30 seconds, come on. Push him out. Gary, could I discuss my dish, please? Right. Um, I'm doing a breakfast pizza, so yep. thinking asparagus, uh, a trout, and then I'm putting a little miso butter on the side and incorporating sesame seeds right, as right. well. I've never had a Japanese pizza. Yeah. Well, that's risky. Sometimes the judges say I push the envelope. All right, this pizza, though. But uh, look, that's the type of guy I am. I like to take a risk. 45 minutes to go, I've got the dough portioned out for these pizzas. There's 100 people coming in dining today. There's five people cooking, so I think I'll do just over 30 portions of the dough. 45 minutes might seem like a lot of time, but I've still got to get some smoked trout ready to get the asparagus onto the grill and make the miso butter, so I just plough on. With the pizza, it's important for me to do a trial run of this dough to see how long it takes in the oven and just to see how it feels when it comes out. Something smells like it's burning. Oh, of course, I burn a base. One, two, three, four, five pizza. Thank you. The orders are coming in thick and fast, and I'm really struggling to keep up with the demand. Well, what's happening with the pizza? Just it's the stopped. rolling. It's the rolling of the dough. The problem with it is, is that I've got my pre-rolled bases. I've got to get those in the oven, cook them, and then also try to get the toppings on whilst rolling out bases again. And it's a bit sort of, you know, all over the place. When you're, I guess, rolling out fresh pizza, it's kind of hard to understand um, the times, but at the same time, we've got to work together. Where you at, big guy? Mate, give me five minutes, yeah? Five minutes, all right, mate. He's called five minutes about four times now, so. How far for that pizza? 30 you're, seconds. You're my slow boy at the moment. 30 seconds. Come on, come on, Vern. Come on. Come on, Vern. Come on. I'm holding dockets now, Coming, I'm not pulling them out. Let's go. Maybe a bitten off more than I can chew. The biggest mistake I made today is deciding to make a pizza. Pizza, pizza. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. It's been a really tough day in the kitchen. Uh, choosing the pizza oven certainly had its uh, problems that came along with it. Fingers crossed that uh, the flavours are good enough and the judges love it. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, this is Vern's Pizza. Thicker service, all slowed down. I reckon I was holding eight or nine dockets just because of pizzas. Wow. Interesting combination. I don't think I could have steered him away from this. Really what he wanted to do, Japanese flavours on a pizza, smoked trout, pickled ginger, miso paste, asparagus, sesame seeds. It'll be interesting to see what it tastes like. I love that Vern has brought us something creative. In terms of how the flavours work together, they're very complementary. We're judging them on creativity as one of the three criteria. He certainly scored well in that one. Yeah, absolutely. The trout, the miso, the asparagus, and the snow pea tendrils all work well for me. 
Yeah. Some good flavour there, but not a lot of moisture. I need something there to lubricate. You know, you something know. creamy like a creamy. mayonnaise. You want, you want some mayonnaise, don't you? Want Japanese know. mayonnaise. Yeah. Pizzas are our first course today, so we need to get straight into it. I'm getting onion eyes. We're going to do a caramelised onion and taleggio pizza with some rocket and a mushroom and suppressor salami pizza. We're keeping the toppings really simple today because we want that pizza dough to be the hero. OK, so we've got a bit of water and salt. Dump that in. For wood-fired pizzas, the dough is the heart and soul of the dish. It needs to have the perfect amount of rise. It needs to cook nice and crispy on the outside. So getting the dough right is absolutely crucial. We just do it two kilos or whatever at a time. We need to get on that piece of dough straight away. It needs time to prove. And how long does the dough take? It's going to take at least two hours. OK. If it's not proved properly, we're going to get a pretty insufficient dose, so we didn't want to waste a second. Right, get it in, get it in, tap, tap, tap. So we've got the flour in there, we've got the fresh yeast, a bit of salt. Right, let's get that in and then let's get it turning. And obviously the water to bring it together in the big mixing machine. Guys, how are we going? I don't want to put you under pressure, but you've got to understand, this is the first course, yeah? You don't get this one right, then you're gonna, it's, gonna, it's just going to affect the whole rest of the service. Johnny's standard of pizza at this joint is top notch. The whole first course basically relies on this dough being perfect. So me and Aaron have got a little bit of pressure on our shoulders. Oh, it looks like someone's following the recipe. I reckon you're ready. The first batch of dough is looking really good. Okay. Aaron, get that water measured out, mate. And yeah. Start weighing out for the second batch, maybe. Okay, one of you, one of you portion, one of you make the next batch. I get it into the proving room, start portioning it up while Aaron gets on the second batch of dough. I feel like we're on track, but we still want to move with some pace. Guys, who's making the pizza dough for the uh, green team? Green team, you better start making yep. your dough. Yeah, it's really important. You're falling behind. Yeah, it's taking a little while to get the dough going. Johnny's already riding us, so I thought we were working pretty quickly, but apparently we need to move quicker. Let's get the salt. 250, was it? 250 grams of salt, yep. And you've got your yeast. Where's your yeast? Yeast yeah. here. OK, this together. Now start getting your water ready. The ratios with the dough is really important. If you don't get it right, it's not going to set, it's not going to rise, you're not going to have a good pizza base. So we're taking our time to get everything measured perfectly. Yep. Quick, let's go, man. Let's start going. Uh, no, no, 10%. no. 10%. That has to dissolve first. Oh. I know we're falling behind, but we're in Gardi and we're making pizzas. I mean, like, oh, my God, they have to be perfect. So a lot of pressure to get that dough right. Um, are you guys cool? Yep, we're yep. good. Yep, we're good. Yep. OK. I don't want to overload it. I just I want to... Make sure it's perfect. I don't know where all the time's gone, but I know we're running way behind schedule. Seriously, you guys are seriously behind. Yep. Now you're starting to scare me. I don't think you're going to have this ready. You've got to start moving. Like, one of you sift, one of you make, one of you, like, really just... Just put it in there. Yeah. Those dough balls need to be sitting for two hours, and if we don't get sorted quickly, we're not going to have dough to put up. Remember, the pizza's the first thing that's going out. Uh, right? It needs to be done now, straight away. Get it going. Uh, we need to get a move on. Stress. That's right, man. Don't panic, just start. Uh, just breathe, man. Breathe. The pizza dough is vital. Um, it's a pizza restaurant. If we don't get this dough right, our pizza could really, really cost us the challenge. I, wa I wasn't that nervous before Johnny came over, but I Let's think, go. Uh, Come on, keep adding, keep adding, keep adding. Have you measured everything correctly? I yeah. think so, yeah. You have. If you've yeah. measured it correctly, then it should mix all together and combine, no problem. Just start adding through the grate. That's why we've got the grate there. Yep. Yeah, just keep adding, keep adding, keep adding. I feel like we're picking up the pace and we should have this first batch finished really soon. OK, as soon as that's ready, dump it to me. I'm going to start kneading it and then you start going with the next batch, yeah? But we're still a long way behind the red team and we're really going to have to race to get that second batch into the proving room in time for it to rise properly. Guys, I'm stressing out. I'm not the only one stressing out. It's a bit frantic at the moment. Where all systems go, everyone seems to be on top of their jobs, but we just up pushing for time. I'm still cutting up cheese for the pizzas. We are still cooking mushrooms. We still need to make a little rocket salad to dress one of the pizzas. I think that we are seriously under the pump at the moment. We need to get our pasta sauce on though. I'm really starting to stress about that. But right now, pizza's the priority because they're going out first. Behind. 15 minutes to go. It's all about to happen. This is going to be your first experience serving real people. You gonna make it? Yes, chef. 100%? Yes, chef. Good man. What we have is this, right? So it's pizza on pancetta. Good, good, good. Uh, we need that balsamic reduction Done. thing. 
Ben and Trent are done with their pizza dough, so I get them to start cracking on the um, the toppings to go on the pizza. So do you want me to mozzarella. grab some more chilies? I need mozzarella oh, and chilli. Mozzarella and chilli. Okay, yeah, cool. And put it all there, yeah? So you know the, with the mozzarella, just slice it so it's like thin. We've got a bunch of toppings to get prepped for each pizza and both are going to need mozzarella, so I get straight onto that. Is that good, Chef? Right, this buffalo and this fiori latte. Now, okay. I'm going to give you a bit of a tip, right? Yep. So buffalo releases a little bit more liquid. Mm -hmm. Fiori latte doesn't. So do you, you want something that's going to be a little bit more soupy on the pizza, or do you want something that's going to be quite um, Dry. set? Yeah. Right? So you've got to work that one out. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you've got the balsamic reduction, so I don't know if you want to use a runny one. Um, so think about your pizza. Yep. Think about yep. your pizza, and then you've got to work out which mozzarella you're going to use, yeah? Okay. Cool. Yes, okay. Thanks, Chef. This is the other mozzarella. Okay, so the prawns are pretty dry. Uh, yeah. So I reckon we use the, this one for the prawns and this one for the... Or do you reckon we just use the one? Hey, so you're, you're cool. We're worried without a soft cheese that the prawn pizza might be too dry. Is that, is that got the, the uh, caramelised reduction going on top? No, that's with the pancetta. So this is going to be crazy enough without using two different cheeses. We're just going to have to run with that wet cheese and be really careful not to leave it too long in the oven during service time. Okay, yep, let's do it. Can you get your two pizza makers? Because I'm going to show once how they stretch. Yes. And they're going to have to look right now. Yep. I'll be there Josh, in 30 Nicole, seconds. move right now, right now. I can't, you go. Pizza makers, I'll show you one, OK? Yeah. yeah. OK, yeah. so you're going to place your dough ball in the flour with your fingers. You're going to push down, right? Being in front of this pizza oven is like getting the keys to Johnny's Ferrari. Seriously, it is the absolute best. You stretch over to your forearm, nice. back down. Stretch, forearm, back down, right? That's the, that's the technique. <laughs> right. So after Johnny shows us how to operate the oven, we need to t test some dough. Oh my gosh, this is hard. First roll out looks good. It's really spongy. It's looking great. We put it in the oven. It's over 400 degrees, so I've got to watch myself. And it comes out awesome. See how it's cooked up? Yep. Very good. But Sam's done a great job. Is it good? Does it taste right? Tastes great. Really crispy base. Um, the oven's awesome, it's really, really hot, so, yep. Josh does a test of pizza and, oh my goodness, it is quite possibly the most delicious thing I have eaten all year. That dough is just perfect. I am so happy. I'm so proud of you, Red Team. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Green oh. Team, listen up. Two pancetta pizzas, one prawn pizza. Come on, guys, let's go. Up and green. Yep. Let's go green. Let's go green. Cooking these pizzas today is, is a little bit daunting. These are the Rolls Royce of pizza ovens. It's it's not like just banging it in the oven at home. No, I've got plenty. Move, 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 move. I've got plenty. I'm proud of the oven. You've got to move. Cooking today in front of a world champion pizza maker, so the pressure's on. Good. Yep, good. Uh, come there it on. goes. Nice one. There's a little bit of a technique to putting a pizza in the oven. Yeah, these pizzas only take about 90 seconds all up to cook. I want to make sure I don't melt the cheese too much. And here comes the prawn. Got to place it gently in there and then just rip it out quickly. Hi right, guys, ready when you are. Red tea, two mushrooms, one onion. Yes, sir. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get easy, get easy. It's unbelievable how fast it's all happening. The orders are just flying in. I don't know how many waiters they've got out there, but obviously too many. Just grab two hands on one side, on that side, and pull it. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty hectic in here. I'm on stretching duty, so my hands are getting to work out, but yeah, it's got to keep my ears sharp. When Eloise gets an order in, we've got to get straight on it. Stretch like you've never stretched before. Nicole and I are doing the construction of the pieces today. Josh is putting it in the oven, 90 seconds, out it comes. Aaron grabs the pizza, slices it into six, does all the garnish work, and straight over to Eloise. Two mushrooms, one onion. Come on, and yamo. I'm so glad we've been able to hear in the dough today and not overcomplicate it with too many toppings. It means we can pump out these pieces super quick. Go, go, go. Come on, guys, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. So hopefully the judges agree and, and they give us the thumbs up. Thank you. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Grazie mille. So this is the red so, team, yeah? So red team, yeah. So we've got caramelised onion, salagio and rocket. And we've got portobello mushroom, olive and suppresso. I mean, yeah. that, that is so much better 
than 90% of the pizzas out there. It's wood fired, it's tasty, it's puffy. Not many people will complain about that. And one of the things people always talk about is you know, how much is the right amount of topping. Certainly here at Grady, Johnny's not a fan of heavy topping, so I reckon the two done pretty well. The, the, the puff they got around the edge, and the elasticity of the dough is really, really good. Heavy dough with toppings, not topping with dough, and that's what they've achieved. This is their first team challenge. Yeah. 250 people in the building, um, and pizzas like this are coming out. It's great. Well, rep team, I think, off to a pretty good start. I'm, yeah. I'm certainly happy, and you know, I always reckon, you know it's good pizza when there's no crust left on the plate. We're, like, pretty much nailing it. Shall we get the uh, green teams in? Green team, listen up. I need three pawns and three pancetta. This one's waiting for a while. Yep, three pawns. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. All right, keep them pumping, boys. Uh, we're about halfway into pizza service now. Redo. It's, too, it's too much. Unfortunately, a couple of these pizzas have come back. I've been so cautious about not melting the cheese too much that the bases are actually a little bit blonde. Behind. Behind. I don't think Johnny's real happy on this. If you are not happy with this at your table, you don't send it out, yeah? Okay. I don't want to see pizza like this ever again. I've just got a soldier on, adjust me cooking times, and make sure I'm doing it properly. Watch the topping, guys. Watch the topping. And I just hope the cheese turns out OK. Let's go. That's good. That's good. Yep. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Brilliant. What do you reckon? Chili and garlic prawn pizza. That was the first one. So the second one is pancetta, mozzarella, rocket, and balsamic. First impressions? Maybe not quite as much puff in the dough as the, the red team got, which is, you know, again, a, a key thing about the, the, the pizzas here at Grady. Actually, now looking at it, it's the only odd thing, isn't it? See how wet it is in the middle there? It's really wet. It's, it's not quite right, is it? Great flavour, but it's wet. Like, it's really wet. Yeah, look, you know what they've done? They've got two ingredients that are wet. They've got the fresh mozzarella, and that, by nature, it just will, especially if you overcook it too, it just weeps all of that moisture, and then they put balsamic on. So really, I mean, look, that's a big problem for me. Could put the green team in a little bit of trouble if there's any more mistakes on the menu. It's an hour to go before service and everyone is definitely running behind. The dough is taking much longer to make than we thought it would and we should be starting to have our prep done and it's just not happening. Right, how are you going guys? Good. Just quickly, give me, give me a couple minutes of your time. Two bits of important information. Number one, I've got someone very special here that's gonna help you with your pizza making. This guy's renowned here in Italy as numero uno, the number one pizza man. Gino, please welcome Gino. Information number two, when service starts, you got me. All right, I'm gonna stand on the pass. I'm gonna be calling the dockers and you guys are gonna be running, all right? Okay. All right. Happiness? Yes. Right, let's go. Oi, 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 come here, come here, come here. Look at me, you can do it. Yeah. You just need to take a deep breath now, okay. all right? Yeah. This yeah. is it, come okay. on, let's go. Done. Cool. Guys, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick up your spirit, yeah? It's your spirit that will get you through, you hear me? Yes? Yes, yes George! Your Tonys, yeah? Come on, darling, let's go, come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Dig deep, yeah? People are waiting. It's been 25 minutes. How long on that pizza? Okay, two quattro for Maggio coming up. Oh, Julia. Yo. I need a brizola pizza. Yeah, it's coming out now. I'm utterly exhausted. My legs are burning, my feet are burning. I just want to go sit down in a quiet room. You got a quattro formaggio in? No, I'll make it. What? Where's your stuff, Alice? Run that to 212. Hey, Alice, is that enough blue cheese? It's just about getting the food out there. These people are hungry. Yeah, it's all right, Alice, just go. Did you join Napolitano for me or no? Yes. Never have I ever done a service this hard in my life. Fuck. 
I've got to give it to them. I'm so proud of them. But at the moment, we're knee deep in it. It doesn't get any deeper than this. And uh, I'm hoping very shortly we can start breathing again. Oh. Gentlemen, well, that looks good. this is our Mindy's Rocket and Mozzarella Pizza. Mm. What do you think? I'm not <laughs> telling you. Well, well done, well done. You found the table. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. This is exactly what I need, Matt. More pork, yeah. more carbohydrates, you know, you know, this more is, cheese. But this is rhyme. <laughs> what I love about this pizza is that little splash of balsamic across the rocket adds some sweetness which balances against the prosciutto. What I don't like is that she's cooked the prosciutto, it's drawn out the salt from the yeah. cured meat, and it's very salty. Julia's Pizza, Brizola, Rocket, looks good. Let's have a taste. The, the base is a letdown. It's a bit biscuity. Um, it hasn't really had long enough for the yeast to do its thing and to puff up. But the toppings, absolutely blooming gorgeous. Love the oil, love the basil, love the brisola. Loads of pecorino, so you get that saltiness. And nice little fresh spritz of rocket over the top. So good flavors. You wouldn't be disappointed in terms of flavor. Come on, guys, nearly there. Nearly there. Yes, chef. Alice's pizza, the, the four cheese pizza. You know, I like that. Let's have a toast. Thumbs up. Oh, yeah, I think that's great. Flavours and the cheese shine through, and then that's what a, a four cheese pizza should be all about. So I think she's, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good job. Probably could have been a disaster if I used equal amounts of brown and white flour. I've decided to lessen the content of the brown rice flour and use a little bit of um, semolina instead. I'm going to do two pizzas, one a savory, using eggplant, mushrooms, tomatoes, with just a tiny bit of ham on. And I thought I'd go with figs and goat's cheese, which I know is very, very low in lactose. Kuma knows how to cook. He knows his flavour combinations. I'm just hoping that he has a stuff up like he did at the greenhouse with his pizza dough. I'm going to be cooking a Mediterranean-style pizza with prosciutto, some herbs, grilled capsicum, grilled eggplant, olives, anchovies, and a little bit of goat's cheese. To create the low-carb base, I use a mix of white flour with the semolina. There's always uncertainty when you're making pizza dough because is it going to rise? Is the yeast going to activate? I probably think Alana was expecting me to make a mistake with the dough. I haven't. Who's going to win this one? I think it's got great flavours. It, it smells goes. good. Yeah, I reckon that smells nice. Yeah, and if you're doing a savoury and a sweet, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking, should I do a second pizza because Kumar's doing one? But I just need to make this one pizza taste really great. Let's get them in. I think it's better to give the judges a wider tasting experience. Having half and half will probably impress the judges. So, Kuma, low carb, lactose free. What have you done there? One's got a tomato base with roasted eggplant, prosciutto, and tomatoes, and some rockets, and the other one's got goat's cheese and figs. Goat's cheese? Isn't the brief meant to be lactose free? Of course, cheese is lactose free. Still got lactose in it though. Yeah. But it's low. Alana, what have you done on yours? Um, it's some sort of Mediterranean flavour, so uh, roasted capsicum, roasted eggplant, and a little bit of goat's cheese. If the brief was lactose free, I wouldn't have put any kind of cheese or any kind of milk product. Yeah. Whether it's from a goat or a camel, or a horse. 
Let's try Kuma's pizza. Well, Kuma hasn't got goat's cheese on this side. Love the topping without the goat's cheese. It was delicious and, and you know what? Very, Very thin base. Let's taste that one. Very thoughtful pizza, but you put lactose on it. Yeah. The dough's really thick. It's supposed to be low carb. If I wasn't worried about carbs and I wasn't worried about being lactose free, then this would be a great pizza. All 16 of us just bolted through those doors, poking and nudging and tripping. Uh, we're all very competitive people. I, for the moment, forget about the fresh ingredients at the front of the kitchen and get to work on my pizza dough because I know that it's going to need at least 15 minutes to rise. Fiona, yes, hi, do you make you pizzas often? Uh, not really. Um, no. What's your pizza? I'm doing pear, blue cheese, um, some walnuts, some prosciutto, and maybe a little bit of rocket on top. Lovely. That all works brilliantly well for me. That's exciting. Salty, sweet, beautiful. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Time to be creative, so let's create something out of this world or out of whack. Is there such a thing as an Asian pizza? Alvin, what's yeah. the topping? Uh, I'm actually going to make a potato pizza with uh, bacon and uh, pine nut caramel as the base thing. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And, and the ginger, where does that come into it? Uh, the ginger's going to get uh, pounded with the uh, garlic and pine nuts with the caramel, uh, and then with a little bit of lime juice as well. Sounds interesting. You know, fascinating. I would have never have thought of that, so... Good luck. Looking forward to it. Don't burn the base. Sure. I'm happy. I love making pizza. It's a really cheap way to feed all your friends when they come over. Yay! Yay. And then the semester. <laughs> Today I decided to make a quattro formaggio pizza, which is, which is a four cheese pizza, with uh, prosciutto, fig and red wine onions. 20 minutes down, 25 minutes to go. I'm panicking standing here. Your dough should be proving. Come on, guys. We won it today. Come on. I am so stressed that I'm not going to get this pizza in. I'm fluffing too much about what it looks like, and I just need to get the topping on and get it out to actually cook it in time. Done. You done? Yeah. I pulled the pizza out of the oven, and it actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty appetising to me. I think I'm one of the first people finished, which is definitely a nice feeling. I think it looks good. It's definitely something I'd like to get from a pizza store. Two minutes to go, you're down to the wire. We want beautiful pizzas. It's is so important. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> I looked out and I do have a pizza. You know, as deformed as it is, it's a pizza on a chopping board. You've got one minute to go. Come on, guys. We're on the pizza train and we're heading to Napoli. Come on. That's it. We're down to the wire. You've got 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well, what a challenge, a brilliant effort, the MasterChef Pizzeria. We are only gonna taste the three top pizzas of the day. The first pizza we'd like to order and taste is Shani's. I'm a little bit surprised, but I'm just really, really happy, I think. I've done a good job and I'm really excited it's going to be tasted. Shani, you look rightly pleased with yourself walking up there. You're excited, aren't you? I'm really excited. 
I've, I've never had my dish taste in a mystery box um, and, and just, just to be up here means that I've done well. Pretty good feeling, isn't it? It's a, it's a great feeling. Nice taste. Johnny, the reason we called you up was because your base looked great. It had that little puffiness around the edge, which many of them didn't. You've got this little tinge of sort of that dark, you know, golden brown. It's got good punchy flavours. Strong, you get that prosciutto, the sweet fig, and then all those lovely cheeses. And then underneath that, you get the sweetness of the caramelised onion. It makes a really good pizza, and I think you've done very, very well. Well done, Johnny. Thanks, Gary. Well done, Shani. I guess I'm just happy to have done well and to be noticed. The next pizza we'd like to taste belongs to Alvin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'm banking on flavour, because <laughs> there ain't nothing good to look at. You know, I think what we liked about the pizza was the way you got this great kick in the pastry on the outside. And the idea, this is mystery box. This is where you can take some risks. So that's why I wanted to see this pizza, to see whether the risk was worthwhile, whether you've created something delicious, or whether you haven't. Um, it has a yum yuckness about it. It's actually quite nice. It's got a, this kind of um, sweetness and loads of ginger and a bit of chilli and the caramelised onion. I kind of, I kind of get where you're going, but I think... Sorry. <laughs> I think it's going to be more rejection than perfection. Thank you. <laughs> the third pizza that we'd like to taste belongs to... Fiona. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. If I'm going to be pushing the boundaries, then sometimes I'm going to do well, sometimes I'm going to do not so well. I'm extremely proud, so I'm really hoping that I'm, I've done enough today to really impress the judges. Fiona, this might be a turning point for you. This is a good pizza. It's got lots of sound flavours and it's big flavours. Big punch in your mouth flavours. Really good. Well done. Thanks. So it's a really clever, balanced pizza. Whether it's the best, we'll find out in a minute. I was glad that they appreciated, you know, the mix of flavours that I tried to put on the pizza, and I was really happy. 